Classification of Businesses, Crazy IGCSE. Welcome back. For those of you who are new to my channel, hi, this is Crazy IGCSE, where you can study seven IGCSE subjects at one place. The subjects include biology, physics, business, economics, accounts, maths, and English as second language. So here is IGCSE at your fingertips. Please subscribe, like, and comment. So this is the syllabus content, the business activity in terms of primary, secondary and tertiary sectors, the basis of business classification using examples, the reasons for changing the importance of business classification and classifying business enterprises between private and public sector. So this is a primary sector which extracts natural resources from earth, example fishing, farming and mining. And this, this is a high sector in developing countries and underdeveloped countries as well. Secondary sector uses natural resources from the primary sector to manufacture, a good, to manufacture goods. Examples are car manufacturers and other factories. Tertiary sector are providing services to consumers and to other sectors, examples doctors, travel agents, insurance agencies. Deindustrialization is when manufacturing sector becomes less important and eventually it enters the tertiary sector. Why importance of sector changes? First, the primary sector resources get used up. Examples are overfishing or deforestation. The factory costs, usually wages, are too high. Example are wages in China or India are cheaper. People spend more on the tertiary sector as they become wealthier. Example more restaurants and then travel agents. The private sector are businesses owned by private individuals rather than by the government. The advantages are that there is high efficiency as they aim at profit and maintain competitiveness. Therefore, there are lower costs. Competition is encouraged, so lower prices. Disadvantages is that there are some services may stop due to running out of business. Then workers may lose jobs to increase their efficiency, maybe to um, change to a capital intensive business. And that will cause a rise in unemployment in the country and the uh, private sector businesses don't really care about the unemployment rate in the country. Public sector are government or state owned businesses. The advantages are that the businesses are funded by the government and this encourages more jobs too. The disadvantages is there is low efficiency and there is no competition between the businesses. So this is the end of our topic. I hope you found this topic useful and informative. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Crazy IGCSE.